with your name, where are you from? Um, I'm Caroline, and I am from Durham, North Carolina, in the United States. <laughs> so tell me about your summer. Yeah. Um, well, uh, when I came to Nasi, I wasn't really sure what to expect because I've never been to Israel before, so it was like a totally new experience, and I was a little bit nervous because I don't speak Hebrew, um, and I basically never met anyone on the program before, so I was kind of nervous about that. But um, it was really amazing for me to not only like get to see Israel and like be here in a place that's like there's so much conflict and there's so much history and I mean it's a really cool place so that was really amazing to be in a place like that. But um, it was also really cool to get to meet people first of all from all over the states that have like different religious backgrounds that are like similar to or different from mine but then also like to meet Israelis was like like it sounds kind of cheesy but like that's really what made the experience for me because like I would I feel like on a lot of other programs like I never have gotten to do that and like I would never have gotten to see that whole aspect of like what Israel is like like for me a lot of like what was hard and what was challenging was like hearing beliefs or like opinions political opinions or religious opinions or whatever um that like I knew existed and I knew were out there but I never heard anyone actually say them out loud I never heard anyone like give real reasons behind them and it was just really amazing for me not only to, to hear them and to hear the reasons behind them and like why they make sense but also to associate those things with like the face and the personality of someone that I really like know and connect to on a personal level so it, it was just an amazing experience for me for like one of the first times in my life to be able to like disagree with someone and like have really intense conversations with them but to like know that I respect them and that I still like love them at the end of the day as cheesy as that sounds so that was really cool okay something you learned about yourself this summer um something I learned about myself well a couple things first of all I I guess it's not really learning but like rediscovering um I rediscovered how much I love doing art mm -hmm. because that's something that kind of disappeared from my life from my life for a little while um in high school, I was like doing a lot of other stuff and getting to do that again and having the freedom to do that and the like being encouraged to ask questions and like express the answers to those questions or the process to answering those questions through art was like a really different and amazing experience and it made me want to do that more and like so I rediscovered that about myself, which was really exciting and I like I'm gonna do art next year in school, which is awesome and I probably wouldn't have done that if I hadn't been on this trip and then something else I learned about myself um I learned that things are really complicated which is not just necessarily about me but like I learned just how I feel like I learned that I wasn't quite as open-minded as I thought I was but I feel like I'm more open-minded now and I learned about like I don't know, that, that everything is just a lot more complicated than I thought it was. And, like, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just, like, we talk a lot about these Arab-Israeli conflict, obviously, because you can't avoid that when you're in Israel. But, like, talking about peace and, like, talking about people from both sides and hearing opinions and, like, what it feels like to, like, live here and especially be here while, like, active parts of the conflict are going on. Like, it's so complicated and I just... I learned that about myself, that, like, nothing is, like, my opinions aren't as set in stone as, like, I might have thought they were, and that was really interesting. So, yeah. Something surprising this summer. Something surprising. Well, um, something surprising. There were lots of surprising things. <laughs> the first surprising thing was Ibexes, which I didn't know existed, and then they're everywhere around here. But, um, but more seriously, um, something surprising, I guess, hmm, 
I guess I was surprised to find how, again, this is going to sound so cheesy, but, like, how easy it was to, like, get to know people in five weeks. Like, it was, I, I was surprised that it was so intense, I guess, that, like, that, I, I was surprised to feel like I, like, actually felt things and, like, that, I don't know, I'm not a very, like, publicly emotional person generally, which is surprising, I'm sure, to anyone who's actually seen me on this trip, because it was, it was surprising to me that, like, a lot of the conversations that we had were just, like, very intense, and, like, it wasn't always fun, and it wasn't always, like, oh my gosh, I'm having such a great time, but it was always, like, I always felt like I was learning, which was, I don't know, I guess it's not, like, surprising per se, but, like, it, it felt really worthwhile that, like, even though I wasn't always having fun, even though I wasn't always, like, having a great time and, like, knowing exactly what was going on and everything, it just, like, I, I always thought that I, like, could look at it a different way, and that was surprising. A memorable moment. A memorable moment. There have been lots of memorable moments. Um, I think... I don't know, one moment that really struck me was when, like, uh, we were swimming in the Kinneret, and that was, it was, like, the sun was setting, and it was beautiful and amazing, but then earlier that same day, we'd been talking about, like, the current situation going on, like, in Gaza, and, like, how there have been, there had been, like, rockets all over Israel, and, like, it was just so, like, that contradiction was so interesting to me, and, like, that was... I don't know, that was really memorable, because for me that represented a lot of, like, a lot of stuff throughout the trip, that, like, there was, there's, there's the good, and then there's the bad, and they're, like, so, like, they're so together, and it's, like, in the same place, so that was, that was a memorable moment, I'm trying to think of others, um, other, well, I guess, okay, the first, the first, like, three days were just a lot of memorable moments, because we were in the desert, and, like, that was, I've never done anything like that before, and, like, that was, like, sleeping under the stars, that was amazing, and then just, like, hiking and being with people that, like, we barely even knew each other, and, like, I just, like, for example, I just, like, started talking to Nava about, like, a movie that we both watched, like, three years ago, and, like, it was just, it was, it was interesting to just, like, things just happened, and, like, I don't know, it was, it was fun. Can you share with me one or two tools that you're looking forward to taking back home? Yeah, so one of them is definitely the co-counseling thing that um, Lior had us do, which was like where we basically we broke off into pairs and um, then one person talks while the other person listens. And we all really, really liked that, so we did that like a bunch. But I really think that was, it was so useful and so like interesting to to do because like sometimes sometimes you don't realize it but you just need people to sit and listen to you and sometimes it's better for you just to sit and listen and to not feel obligated to say anything or to like do anything just to like listen and sit there and be there while someone talks so that was that's something that I really like connected with and I think that I really want to take home and use um in terms of more abstract tools I guess um, something I personally learned was that it's, oh, all of this sounds so cliche, but that it's like, like I, living as like a Jew in America, you know that you're different and you know that it's like, like your Jewish identity is a part of you, but it's not all of you. And it's, I, I feel at least that my like Jewishness makes me different and like, here I also felt different but for a different reason because because my Judaism was different not because I was Jewish basically and it was I I want to be able to take that distinction and bring that home too not and just like appreciate the difference and not be not be ashamed of it and not be like well ashamed is not the right word but just like like don't I don't know it was interesting here to see that like your Jewish identity and your identity as like a person are like so deeply intertwined and I feel like mine are not and so I really would like to like bring back like a lot of the Jewish ideals that we talked about like being a good person and like tikkun olam and like community service and all that and like really 
try and connect those so that it has more more meaning, I guess, or like more direction. So. Yeah. Anything else about Nisya you want to share with us now? Um, it was really fun, <laughs> and I loved it, and um, I just I can't imagine having it any other way, and I'm really glad that I was here this summer and that I got to meet all the people that I did and how all the experiences that we had and I wish that it could go on for a couple more weeks but unfortunately we're done now so yep. great thanks Caroline